Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. How are ya? Are you doing great? I sure hope you are. So as you can see from the title, today we are going to be reviewing something that I have seen everywhere. Literally everywhere. You know I love giving my honest thoughts on a product. I've seen the Ninja Ice Creamy everywhere on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and everywhere. And I wanted to put it to the ultimate test. So the Ninja Ice Creamy is basically this machine that claims that it can turn anything into ice cream. It has lots of different settings. I think it has ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet. So many different things that you can do with this ice cream machine. So I have bought it for us to test. It arrived the other day. Look at it, it's so pretty. Look at this. This looks so good. Enjoy today. And this came free with it. Got two extra tops. Wicked. And this also came free. For anyone. So much room for activities. Really so let's have a look at the recipes. Well, let's see first of all what's going on in here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I hate instructions i hate them mm. we, i hate unboxing things if i'm honest dad gets a thrill out of this because i go <laughs> i can't get i feel it it's quite big Ooh, isn't it it's huge and as you can see i was very excited for it to test it and we got to work straight away. So the first thing that you have to do with the ice creamy is you have to make up the frozen products. So I just froze up some things that I thought would be interesting to try. It's annoying because you can't get it instantly and I kind of wanted it to be instant ice cream, but obviously it's not. So you have to think a day ahead, which isn't always great because I'm not always thinking ahead of the game, but I put some things in the freezer. So I have a variety of ingredients here. Um, I'm going to follow some recipes and for some of them I am not and I'm just going to completely ad lib it baby, ad lib it. First thing that I want to do is the strawberry ice cream. Strawberries, one teaspoon of lemon, 100 grams of sugar, one teaspoon of golden syrup and then you just need to mash the strawberries together. Okay so I'll leave that for 10 minutes and then we add the double cream and just leave it in the freezer. Um, for 24 hours and then hopefully that is going to be a crack in ice cream. Ice cream number two, we are going to do tiramisu. Now I saw someone in, on TikTok do this where they literally blitzed up just a pure chunk of tiramisu and it turned into tiramisu ice cream and that to me was just what lured me in. I couldn't say no so I'm just going to take a big wad of this tiramisu so I guess I just put that in the freezer, like so. Now this one, I don't know how it's gonna pan out, but we've got some smoothie. I'm literally just gonna pour smoothie into this and see how that one goes. I imagine that's gonna go quite well, personally. I just have so many possibilities. I feel like this is gonna be a whole flipping through. I have this, this mojito drink, which I feel like could make a nice sorbet. I feel like I could have even gone even more exotic, so please, know in the comments below if you have any ideas for recipes because this is just too much fun so the custard that we had earlier i am actually going to freeze this because this is basically ice cream base that's what custard is the last one that we're going to do is chocolate trifle because at the moment i'm having a thing with chocolate trifle i love it so let's see how it fares I then wanted to test out his milkshake function, which is one of the functions that is like the immediate functions, and they have a few of those. I have got some chocolate ice cream here, and I am gonna make one of the enjoy today things. So what we have to do is we have to take 300 grams of chocolate ice cream and 125 ml of whole milk and then we blitz them together and apparently it should make a stonking milkshake so i have this co-op irresistible venezuelan chocolate ice cream that i'm gonna weigh out i think i'm gonna half it because i feel like i do not need that much milkshake yeah that, that makes a lot so i'm just gonna half it also we've got some oreos that we can add in so it can be like an oreo chocolate milkshake situation hello hello so then milkshake very loud. Sorry, can't hear you. Remember, it comes down. It's like it drills a little hole in it. Stop them. <gasps> you guys! 
Ready? I think the ice cream had already melted a little bit. Yeah. It's a thick milkshake, so it's meant to be. Ooh, let's right. Cheers! See you later. That's the chocolate milkshake. It's quite dark chocolatey though. I think that I don't personally like that chocolate ice cream. It's the chocolate ice cream that's a problem. But texturally, that's great. Probably achieve the same if you just melt an ice cream. You're probably right there. Anyway, that was test number one. We need to try a banana milk. I feel like the milkshakes, like we just discussed, are a bit of a cop out because it's basically, you can do that in a blender really easily. But I wanted to see if it could achieve a slightly different consistency. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it really to the test. A little bit of ice, so it really has to blitz. And then I'm gonna put a bit of custard in it because I think that'll add a nice sort of like sweetness to it. Who was it that said you can break a banana in half if you just, ooh. That makes me feel a bit sick. This is my mum's favourite thing in the world. Fancy custard and Earl Grey. She's a simple woman. I do like this, because it really does feel like I'm in an American movie thing. Whoa! As you can see, it's a little bit lumpy. So I think I'm gonna blitz it up again. Right, I have respun it. So let's see how this banana milkshake is looking. That's quite good, but it still looks like there's a little lump. Can you see that? Let's see what it's saying. Oh, a bit lumpy in it. I feel like I need to re-spin it one more time. I think that this would actually be a lot better if it was frozen bananas, because I think that would like skim it and whip it up a little bit more. Um, but let's see, now I have blitzed up. This is the third time. So I'm hoping that it's going to be nice and creamy. I think the custard's going to be what? Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. Oh, so if you want to make an at-home banana milkshake, get yourself that like luxury custard from the fridge section in the supermarket and blitz it up with a banana. But I feel like I could have done it better in a blender. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I feel like... See what happens tomorrow. So the banana milkshake wasn't the biggest success in terms of it still was really lumpy. I think it might be better if we used frozen bananas and I feel like it would produce more of like a frosty McDonald's type banana milkshake. That is the aim. So if anyone has a recipe, then please do let me know. Now on to the other ice creams that we were testing. So it's been 24 hours. This was the first one we're doing, which is strawberry. And it just says, take off the lid. Oh, it looks pretty gnarly in there. It doesn't, doesn't look super nice if you're looking in. Quite simply, it's gonna be loud, guys. Are you ready? It is gonna be loud ice cream. It is really, really loud. And it's shaking a little bit. Okay, it's kind of blended the first bit, and then I need to get a spatula. And I think I'll need to re-blend. Round one has been done. So let's see what's happening. Oh, she's a bit crumbly. She is a bit crumbly. See that? It needs a little re-spin. But it does say that. It says you might need to re-spin. Right, we're blending it up again. It's still quite crumbly, to be honest. We scraped the sides down, and it's kind of moving a bit more now. Hopefully, this will work. I wasn't be really upset, because... Already mission one and it's looking like a little bit of a fail. It's quite crumbly bumbly. Oh, but underneath it's not. I'm gonna add some milk to it, maybe that'll help. I've added a little slither of cream because it's just not coming together. I've remixed it about five times now. So this is the real moment of truth. That's better. It just needed a little tickle of cream. Oh, that's so much better. That's like proper, you see that? That's, we're getting there. Also, like, there's little lumps of cream in there. Anyway, I'm gonna put some in a bowl. We can do a little taste test. So, the actual ice cream itself is, the flavour is great. But texturally, it's good, isn't it? It's is good. Very creamy. Mm. Mm, nice. It took a lot of work. They make it sound like you just blitz it. I need to try the other ones and see how they turn out. Yeah, but it's just one recipe, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, do another one. It will blend that. It says it can blend anything. 
So we're gonna put it to the ultimate test. I've literally just freezed a portion of tiramisu. Mm. You reckon I'll blend it? Mm. I've literally not put anything with it because it says it can blend anything. And so far we've been lied to. Because we couldn't even hack a little bit of measly strawberries. Put that guy in there, pop that there. But we wanna blend it. Let's see how it goes. Wow. I'm gonna give that a little mix. Oh wow. I'm just gonna give it a little remix. Cause it's got a few lumps. Or do you want little tiramisu lumps in it? Yeah, you want the lumps. Okay, yeah. let's put it in a like bowl. Ben and Jerry's. So happy, aren't I? Think so happy though. Smashed everything. That was really quite tense just then. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna try it. Ready? It's got the consistency of. It looks like real life gelato. Yeah. Chin. Wow. Oh my word. It's a little bit icy. I think it did need another blend. I don't know if that's ice or something like the cake in the. Mm, I think it's the cake. In the thing. What we think? That's what I mean. I think it could have mm. done with another blend. Good. Mm. Mm. It is good. So we'll try it, try it and see if it makes a difference. Look at that, it's like proper ice cream. This is amazing, I love it. Now let's try the frozen custard. I'm intrigued what this will do. Now the frozen custard isn't gonna work because the lid won't fit on because this has obviously tilted a little bit. So that's something to think about. Let's try the mango and passion fruit smoothie instead. <laughs> I can't work out what goes wrong because it goes powdery on the top, but then maybe if I mix it in a bit more? Yeah, maybe you overfill it though. No, I didn't. I did it to the max line. I don't know. I... It's, it's getting there. The actual flavour of the mango and passion fruit thing was so good and it kind of had like a creamy element, but I just can't work out what's going wrong. And I followed the instructions, even though I know I said I didn't want to, I did actually follow them. And it just, something wasn't right. The flavor was really good though. Now the overall review on these ice creams were that they weren't fantastic. They weren't. I've actually been quite disappointed by the Ninja Ice Creamy and I would say don't waste your money on it. The tiramisu was the best thing by far because it just blitzed everything up and made it so smooth and the flavour was amazing. But the strawberry ice cream, which I don't understand because it literally is the recipe in the recipe booklet that they give you, was not good. It was crumbly no matter how many times I mixed it, even if I mixed it with um, cream. But the flavour was really good so it feels like really hard and annoying because it has such potential and the frozen smoothie did eventually get there it got to like a sorbet kind of setting but maybe i'm doing something wrong and maybe you guys can enlighten me and tell me what i could do better because i feel like i'm missing a trick i feel like there's something that is not adding up in this ninja ice creamy there are loads of recipes in the book and i feel like i want to give it another go i also blitzed up the custard and that again it just stayed very solid i don't know what i'm doing wrong i feel like i'm doing something wrong and i'm sure that i'm going to be told in the comments below but for the most part i'd say it was a definite waste of money i reviewed so many different products and the ones that i would say have been the best investment of my money was the sage toaster that has been by far like i use that every day without fail i use the toaster set in the air fryer the bake the keep warm like it is amazing i think products need to be something that you can use every day and i am not going to use this ninja ice creamy every day and i just feel like it's a bit of a waste of money and it doesn't actually do what it claims it can do it says it can blitz anything and turn it into ice cream but it doesn't let me know if there's anything that you want to see me trying and i would love to do that for you i love you all loads i hope you enjoyed this video peace out punks